Hey folks, just gonna do a quick follow-up. I've had a couple of people who have expressed interest in the Axelom uh, STP device, the Stand to P. Um, so I just wanted to do a quick follow-up and kind of let you know how I've gone with my first week using it, but also compare it to a couple of other devices that are quite prominent on the market to give you an idea about size and yeah, what it kind of looks like when you see them all side by side. So using it for the first week, um, I like to point it upwards and I've found that in a pair of, you know, sort of skinny black jeans um, or jean shorts, it's been pretty easy to pack with. Um, yeah, I haven't had any STP accidents either. So the first time I used it, I've previously been using the Peacock Gen 2 and yeah, coming over to this one, I actually found that it was pretty easy to use. Um, it's been pretty comfy. Do notice every now and again that the shaft kind of moves, but that's pretty common with a lot of STP devices that point upward, devices, devices. But yeah, in, a, in general, it's been pretty comfy, um, pretty easy to use, and I haven't had any accidents. So yeah, considering that a win. I'm gonna pull some devices on camera now, so if you're not wanting to see some peens, now's your chance to click away. You've been warned. All right, Dick's incoming. So this is the Axelom Handy 3-in-1 STP. This is the one that I've just recently ordered. Um, to give you some info, so it's made of a food grade silicone. It's not medical grade. Um, so it is a little bit cheaper to manufacture and that's kind of reflected in the price. I haven't noticed any quality issues with it, being that it's food grade. Food grade is typically, I'm advised, um, safe for external body use and generally doesn't have any other issues, no leaching or anything like that. And it doesn't have a weird smell. And it's actually super soft, like it's really quite silky um, comparison to the, some of the other products that I've used. It's got a really nice coating on it. Um, so yeah, as you may have seen in my previous video, that was the cup and it's the the detailing of it there so it's the shaft is 4.75 inches which equates to about 12 centimeters and when you then add the bowls and the cup onto that it's about 15.9 centimeters or 6.26 with a circumference and girth of 1.5 inches or 3.85 centimeters so in comparison to a standard cisgender penis, it's, yeah, pretty decent. And yeah, it's weight 185 grams, um, which is quite nice, it's quite light. And at the moment on special uh, for 79 US dollars, add 25 for postage, so in Australian, only cost me about 130 bucks. So yeah, pretty happy with that. Compare that to one of the other common products on the market. This is the Easy P. So this isn't the Junior, this is the, the standard Easy P. As a bigger guy, um, I found this pretty impossible to use. Um, yeah, I honestly didn't like it. Um, packing with it, I like to put a hole through my underwear and just kind of use that as a makeshift harness. And then I just point the packer up and it does its job. Whereas this, you kind of have to adjust it to your anatomy and then you kind of shake it out and forward and then point it back up. It was, it was really uncomfortable. And I found that for fly clearance, like it's tiny in comparison. So yeah, when I did the, the checking up, um, this section of the shaft is only three inches in total. So eight centimeters. And when they calculated the whole six inches, that was taking into account the massive cup as well. Um, it is significantly lighter, so it's only 110 grams, um, but yeah, it was 250 Australian without postage, so 195 American, and for me, it just didn't work. So you can see there's a bit of a, a bit of a size difference there. <laughs> this is the newest one on the Peacock market. So this is the, 4X, um, so this is the one that doesn't have the, the movable bowls or the free moving skin. And man, this thing was a monster to pack with. So it came in at a whopping 244 grams. And I, 
I really didn't like it. Again, medical grade silicon, medical grade silicon, but it was just super heavy and really uncomfortable. So it's a 3.75 inch shaft length, um, which works out to about 95 mil or 9.5 centimeters. It's got a hefty diameter on the girth of 4.13 inches. And it, all in all, this one, it comes in at 189 American, but when they also added postage onto that, um, it came to about $315 Australian. So again, not super great. I also found that with this one, you really had to squeeze the eye to, to pass urine. And like, I don't know if you can see that, but that is a super narrow shaft. Um, and I had a few backlogging issues. I mean, it does have a pretty wide cup and it does have the, the really effective spillover cups. Like it's got the additional lip. Um, but it also, it just wasn't a good sound and like it, it just wasn't great. Um, holding it sideways, like it was super heavy and even holding these side by side, they're, they're pretty much on par. Like as far as the, how they hold and how they move, they're, they're pretty, pretty much indiscernible. And this one points down quite nicely. This one, it's pointing out as well. You've got to have an underwear to push it down. But I found that because of the thickness of this shaft, trying to pack upward with it, it just, it was no good. Whereas this packs upward much nicer and because it's not as dense, but it doesn't feel like it's compromising any quality, it points upward quite easily or downward if that's your preference too. So it's much lighter. It's got a nice and silk coating, whereas this one's not, it's super sticky. And the cup on this one, although it doesn't have the, the super effective lip, it does have a slight raise to the lip there. And I've, I've not leaked and I have not compromised my stream at all. It's been super easy. So to give you a bit of a comparison, standard Bic Biro pen, that's about it. So yeah, there's a bit of a summary of the Axelom Handy 3-in-1 STP food grade silicone compared to the Peacock Gen 4X, and that's the 3.75 inch and the easy p stp devices hope that helps thanks folks